today I will be unboxing um, my haul from Taobao. So Taobao is a Chinese uh, uh, marketplace where you can buy really good, interesting, uh, really interesting materials, really interesting product. You can find everything there. They even sell like um, tombstone. Yeah. So um, I actually bought quite a few items and these are actually things like um, art materials. I actually bought some paints, watercolor paints and a few of the uh, palettes and also a few pens. So um, I'm quite excited to actually see them because I think I, I placed an order mid, mid Jan June and then it now it's like first week of July and it finally has arrived. So it took about three weeks or so. Um, I think it's pretty fast, you know, um, consider that it's actually still COVID um, and uh, there's still maybe some delays in, uh, in delivery, that kind of stuff. So anyway, I have a total of five boxes. So they all come together, consolidated in one big package and I actually have five of these. Some I know what they are from the boxes, but some I don't. So let's probably start with the, this one, okay? So this one is, um, it says uh, pen. So I think that they, these are the pens that I've actually uh, ordered. So this has been reviewed, I think, by a lot of people. Can you guess? This is the Moon Man. Okay, wow, this is so beautiful. Okay, so the nib, this is the eyedropper and this is the, the pen. It comes with a, it's like a demonstrator. I love demonstrator pen. I, in fact, I have this. I have the Franklin Christoph uh, in, in uh, glass. So later on, we can do a comparison. And uh, it's an eyedropper pen, so it doesn't come with a converter. And uh, yeah, look at the beautiful nib. Okay, uh, let me know if you want to see this review. I can review this together with my uh, Franklin, uh, Christoph, uh, Christoph Franklin. Um, so this is a Fountain Pen M2 and I bought it in uh, Extra Fine. So this is Moon Man M2. Excited to see this. It's not very expensive, um, but it's very pretty. Okay, so this is the, uh, the other one. So this pen is from Pen BBS. Um, this is the packaging. Uh, it's a very standard cardboard packaging is not as pretty as the Moon Man. Comes with an eyedrop, eyedropper and I think this is another nib. Uh, could be a ballpoint nib. Okay, so I don't know if we can actually uh, change it to a ballpoint. We'll see. So this is the pen. It's quite big. This is a twin nib pen, fountain pen. So you can it's a glass, no, it's acrylic and there are two ends. So one end is a, it's a fine tip and the other end is a medium tip, medium nib. So, but I find it funny that I can actually get them to sort of align. Can you see that? It's not aligned. It's very weird, but, but it's very pretty, the nib. It's very pretty. So beautiful. It's more expensive than the Moon Man, but I think it's quite pretty and you can have actually two colours, two different colours in one pen, which is pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen a twin nib pen, fountain pen. Let me know if you want to see like a review. Alright, so I have this um, next box, which is the next smaller box. Ah, okay. I think this is um, one of the brush cleaner. Um, brush container, like a container where you use to wash your brushes. I don't know why I bought it. Maybe because it looks very cool. Oh, it's, it's, it's big. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, it's such a big, it's such a big box. You know, after that, after buying it, I went to look, look at it again. I realized that it could be actually used for oil. Uh, painting and not exactly for watercolour painting. Now I know why. Because it's so big. So this is from Mary Mary's San Jian Tao Yong Duo Yong Si Si Bi Tong. So it's for you to wash your, your brushes. It's um, made from a grey colour plastic uh, mat and there's a lid, so at the, all the, around the edges, there are all these um, slots to, for you to put your brushes and there's a lid at the top where you can keep your paint. And I, I guess this is like a, a palette. 
and then if you take this off oh wait 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 okay so that's one cover right there's another cover for you to take out and this is the other this is this is where you wash your brushes so i remember i think this is my watercolor paint so this is the uh, watercolor that i bought i don't know why i have so many did i buy the wrong thing <laughs> all these tubes and here are the so i actually bought tube colors okay um, it's actually from this place called Supervision So it's supposed to be a new watercolour uh, uh, maker in China I bought all these things uh, These paints from Supervision So this is the brand Supervision So what's so special about these colours is that They're supposed to be like um, Daniel Smith uh, Moon Glow I think I've uh, recently uh, Well a few months ago I've already actually did a, a review uh, Where you can actually see that it's made up of a few pigments And so the colour it doesn't look like a flat wash. Everything looks, uh, depending on how you put water and how you 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 uh, use the brush on it, your painting will look different. So I think this is what they are trying to achieve. Mm. They call it feng fen chen se, meaning they they the colors are actually uh, several comes in several layers in, in and and you know it has all these different weird effects. The Chinese name is actually much nicer. It's like called kong zhi mo. Mo means ink. So. Cold means sky, so but it sounds much nicer, much nicer than sky ink. So these are all the colors from Supervision. I'm so 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 excited to try all of them. So do let me know if you want to see this first, okay? And I, I will be uh, posting uh, the, the review of these colors. Um, I also got the Baohong Academy watercolor sketchbook, it's made for 100% cotton uh, and it's 300 gm uh, grams per meter square, acid free. And it's hot pressed and it's natural white. So um, I think for watercolorists, um, you probably would have heard of this brand, Bao Hong, uh, Chinese uh, watercolor brand, uh, paper brand. Um, they their papers are reasonably cheap, and I think it's quite a good quality. But this is like a A5. I think it's A5. Yeah, um, landscape uh, watercolor booklet. It's, I really like the cover. It's like fake leather. Yeah, but feels feels really nice. Like it feels like there's some kind of sponge inside, protecting it. Um, and there's like unlike Molly Skinny, there isn't like another pocket at the back for holding things. But I think it's a small issue. I I recorded all, all the unboxing, but so for some reason I the the sound didn't get recorded. So I have to redo this. Fifty eight color solid watercolor from Marie's. I think it's a Chinese brand. I bought this because can you see how interesting this is? So all the colors are actually contained. The everyday colors are all contained inside here. So you can open it up, um, starting from over here, right? Okay, and then you just need to just pull out, and there you go. All the fifty-eight colors. I would foresee that this is something that you can bring on uh, maybe a uh, urban sketching. Uh, if you don't want to bring all your colors, you need, just need to bring this and uh, your water brush. Um, do let me know if you want to see uh, a review uh, of this product. So this guy is what we call the foldable watercolor pot. So let's open it. This is a strap that you can attach, you know, to to this um, very cute box here. Uh, this is where you can put in your brushes, the slots. And here is where you you can uh, remove it. Okay, I, I had ah there you go. Okay, so this is this is the water container. So you can actually push it down. It's quite a big one. You can slot your colors, your your brushes here, and then just push this up from the notch, re release, um, and you should be able to get your palette. So this would be I guess the watercolor palette. This is the lid. And you can put your colors here. Uh, and maybe one of these days, uh, I will bring it out for urban sketching. And I guess this is where the hooks would go here. And you can bring this out. Let me know if you want to see the review. Um, and I'll see uh, you know which is the most requested. And I can start doing the reviews. Uh, these reviews uh, sooner than others. These are the items that I got from my recent haul uh, from Taobao. They are not exactly very cheap. Um, other than the pens, I think the pens are reasonably cheap. Um, I think this is also alright. 
the paints are actually more quite expensive. Uh, but I, I don't know. Seems like a good. I, I think it seems like something that I really want to try out. So uh, do let me know if you want to see anything in detail, any like detailed reviews, and and I, I will like because there's so many of these items. Just let me know which are the ones that you want to see first, and I shall come up with the uh, reviews. All right. So I'll see you in the next haul video. It will there will be a next one. Okay, I'm 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 sure. <laughs> anyway, thank you. I see you. Thanks for watching this video, and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.